good scooter, everybody. It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. You know, guys, I really want to have this conversation about Cameron. Killer Cam. He's in a situation right now, beefing with Melissa Ford. Of course, Melissa Ford basically responded to a story that Cam put out and Mace put out. And that story was about them going into, I don't know, a whorehouse when they were younger or something like that. And um, upon going into the whorehouse, um, you know, both, you know, they were underage at the time and um, maybe 16. This is 1992. So what does Melissa Ford do? Melissa Ford believes that, well, the girls in there were underage. I mean, just stupid to say, doesn't make any sense. She says it anyway, dummy, right? It's completely stupid to say that, um, especially during this time. So what happens? The guys are clapping back in a big way. Cameron has cussed her out, you know, he didn't call her the B word, people in their feelings, everything like that. Folks is upset, how can he do this? And the rest, right? So that's pretty much what's going on there. But Cameron also dropped something that was a big bomb about who was clapping her cheeks, okay? I wanna go ahead and play that and then I'm gonna come back. You're not even from this country. I could have went straight to iced tea in the bathroom for two thousand dollars when you was doing waitress, and I didn't even go there. You used to in the bathroom, the Kit Kat Club, one of them old ass club. Stop! You're a video vixen. So he says in the video that Ice T was pounding out her cheeks for. $2,000 in the bathroom. So, and again, I, I like him. I, 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 I mess with what they're doing with Mace and everything like that. But I just have one issue with this. Like, why is it every time that you have a problem with somebody, right? Or somebody has a problem with somebody. Somehow they got to bring in, you know, somebody else into it that ain't got nothing to do with y'all issue. If that information about Ice T is true, which it could be true, why do you feel the need, Cam, to throw Ice T under the bus, bro? Like, like that's not real, dog. I mean, and, you know, real dudes make mistakes, but that's not necessarily real, bro. Here's how you should have dealt with that, you know, because I know that you was doing X, Y, and Z with somebody, whoever it is, with such and such, you ain't got to call a name, you know, in the restroom. That's how you handle that. You feel me? You ain't got to throw iced tea underneath there because she threw you underneath the bus. That's sucker stuff. You know what I mean? I know people people get mad. Well, that's why I heard you was bing, bing, bing with, with dude. So then that's how beef usually gets started in the black community because somebody don't come out, hey man, keep your name out my mouth. And then you know, another brother be too afraid of apologizing or saying he's sorry. Next thing you know, you got a feud, which is stupid. Which is stupid. It is dumb. All right, that is dumb. I myself would never do anything like that. Never. Now I have before, right? But you gotta learn. Man, when you have a problem with somebody and you got some dirt on somebody based on somebody else, man, don't ever throw somebody else underneath the bus because somebody offended you. You know what I'm saying? Don't ever do that. Firstly, that's that's very whack, bro. It's, it's, it's very whack. Secondarily, like I said, if you gotta do that, stay out the business. Now, let me let me just say this also about Cam giving the work to Melissa Ford. All right? I know he's dealing with her in a very strong way. And again, you know, a lot of men, we just like, we on his side. But I'm going to tell you, you know, ladies like that, when you coming at them, 
Because again, if you call them out their name, you calling them what it is. You know, like I said, they're going to be saying, well, she apologized. Why are you abusing women? Now, they're not going to look at the fact that what she, what, what she uh, leveraged against him was based on to call him a pedo. That's what she's about to talk about with him. He's a pedophile. That's what she's trying to say. Now, he responding in the best way that he know how to respond when leveraging that. But what folks are going to try to say is, oh, you're abusing women, all of that, right? You know, look at how you disrespect women. Again, not even look at the fact of what you did. So here's what dudes got to understand in today's game. Cam can get away with it, maybe, to a certain degree. First of all, because of who he is. And second of all, because, let me just say this, she's also black. If she was white and he said this, bigger problem, right? But I do want you guys to realize, everything you say in this world now, when these chicks are like how they are, got to be mindful of how you talk about them or how you talk to them. Got to be mindful now. In today's world, you know what I mean? Got to be mindful. You know what I mean? And, 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 and some of these chicks out here, man, their careers is 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 is, is dusty. It's gone. He mentioned it. Video vixen. Like I said, she didn't get to who she wanted to be in life. Now here she is trying to bring another brother. That's something that he gonna have to get used to while he's trending, because before. They wasn't that hot like that. I mean, they was hot as artists, but they wasn't hot, you know, no individual podcast. These guys are just blowing up at the time. So after blowing up like they have been, guys are going to take shots at them. That's something that you got to understand. When you start doing well, people are going to take shots. So what Melissa Ford is doing, and like I said, they could have edited that stuff out, but they didn't, right? Which was, which was, which was grimy. It was slimy on Joe Button's part. Joe Button is a straight D head for that. He's a clown. He's a straight up clown. All right. A clown, clown, clown. But anyways, people do that when you're jealous. You feel me? Folks is playing dirty. Now, it ain't Cam's fault and May's fault they winning. And ain't they fault they got, like I said, um, $30 million deal. That ain't they fault that they out there doing, like I said, working the game right. And folks be out there so mad and be hating instead of actually trying to learn something and congratulating that you know y'all out there are so extra dusty. Whose fault is that? Like I said, if 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 if, if y'all mad, look, you need to find some place on my days to say, hey, if you mad, you better find somewhere to get glad, boy. <laughs> so guys, what do you think it's your boy Shay Duke Jackson? Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all you describe the bell. We're out.